John Travolta. Did I spell that right? Yeah. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. What did you all expect? No, no, you know I always go at all of my birthday parties. Okay, everyone, time for, for me to read out everyone's role for the murder. Now, on to the nifty gritty. For the murder mini game, one of you will be murdered. And the rest suspect. Sonic, you're a ship captain. You'll be stationed in the conductor's car. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. He'll find you in the saloon. Rouge, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry. Both in the casino. Vector, you're the butcher. And Espio, the poet. Both found in the library. Shadow is the locksmith. Hang out in the lounge. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be mosaying around with everyone. The train started moving? It's so fast! Grab onto something! What, what's going on? Wait, is that...? It, it, it can't be... Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I, I just... I just need to... Rest. Sonic? Sonic? Whoa, look at this place! Amy? Are you here? Hey Tails, where are you? So we can go from Amy or Tails? Amy or Tails? Well, Tails will probably be investigating the place. Well, Amy, she's gonna be just talking to people and stuff. Uh, let's go with Amy first. Can I? I, I pressed Amy, right? I've looked around. I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah. Just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> he's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, promise? Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange pla- a lot, uh, a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense. But I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Uh, can I take along with you? It's my job to keep an eye on you. Uh, can I take along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure! No, now if I ever need a snack, you've got me! <laughs> fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. I don't remember all of their voices, so correct me in the comments if I'm doing one wrong or if I'm doing one better, I don't know. If you ever catch me looking gl glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lore card? The last guy I worked to, the last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the, the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. <laughs> That's true. Ye vermits. What are ye all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're, tr we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy mused, mosaic through, through and told me all about it. <coughs> Enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. 
we were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... No, I have nothing to tell, to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why'd he get out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. John Travolta, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were up why while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. So arcade machine. Knuckles, the trash, cups, the window over there, and the robot, the train. Uh, I don't know what this is, some type of food, um, there's stuff over here. So outside the saloon, will this make me go uh, somewhere else, oh, wrong one. So we're here, so if I go through that door, I'll probably go over where Espio and Vector is. Rouge and his blade is here. This is shut. <laughs> Sonic's eyes are crossed out. So yeah, I'm gonna stay here first with Knuckles, and then if there's something we have to go another room to find, then I'll go. So let's just investigate this area first. Uh, is this the, the is, is this the, like the the happy birthday game and stuff? Howdy, partners. Spit to free establishment. Coliseum Highway Zone. Let's go. Let's go with Howdy, partners. Uh, okay. Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Huh? Seems like someone licked all the salt off him. What? <laughs> or maybe they're just unsalted. <laughs> hey, train. The robotic arms here are really helpful. Hmm. What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh-oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? Uh, train. The mother of the group. So, oh, there's... there's is that lipstick? John, John Travolta, this is interesting. What is it? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. Yeah, but one has like a little a lipstick thing. Yeah, John Travolta, this one, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. <laughs> That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here <laughs> saying that Knuckles uses lipstick. Not judging, but that's funny. We should log this. Use cups are added to your inventory. Yep. Trash. Something's always hitting the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one is empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something else always been hitting in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. Yeah. One time, there's gonna be something in the trash and you're gonna look dumb. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> Hmm. I think Tails is ignoring me. Oh, the wanted poster too. Breathtaking view. Yeah, it is a beautiful view. This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nause nauseous, nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like a roller coasters. What a weak ass baby! Just kidding. Well, yeah, like I, I get it. I, I have got, I have like vomited in amusement parks, but that's just because I ate something before going, which you should never do. But I was like really wanted to go, so you know, sacrifice needs to be made. I don't mind roller coasters. Though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding the carts. Hmm? I'll never understand this friend group. Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Omo Chow. 
hate to see him like this. Well, they do. Medical malpractice. <laughs> Interesting. Wait, what? Medical malpractice? What? Wasn't he just a, like a helper in the games? Just giving tips on how on what to do and stuff? When did he try to do medicine? Or medical practices? <laughs> That's okay. Their card is broken. Clearly we won't be able to give the, the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damage looks more to be caused from punches. Who could have done that? <laughs> hmm. What are you two looking at me for? Smash Arcade is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Yep. He raged quit. Super Monkey Ball. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Oh, Poor baby boy. You're very handsome in that hat with that scarf. Accept the compliments, cause you are. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave! <clears throat> okay, what now? Please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Would be, wouldn't be fun. I bruise easily too. Yes, I wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I'll fight you. Sorry, John Travolta. I wish you luck. He's not actually going to fight me, right? Tails? Tails, where are you going? So, bye, I'll, I'll, I'll go talk to other people. No, Tails, Tails, don't leave me. Uh, can I take your order? Hmm, <laughs> not hungry. Well, if you ever are, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure, like a, like a butler of sorts? Right. Come on, John Travolta, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah. Like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it! I thought I told you to leave me alone. Start interrogation. Knuckles, John Travolta and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour of the murder took place. I already told you. Buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Huh? It, it is? We have evidence, too. We do? John Travolta, take a look, a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Oh, the game. The arcade machines? Huh. What makes you think I touched it? Oh. Think. Well, it's different now. Oh. There's stuff now. There's hazards. Ow. No. no. Uh, well, <clears throat> you see, you have no arguments here. You are weak. Ouch. John Travolta, let's follow the train of thoughts again, shall we? This is hard. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat. So yeah, it's, a, it, it's hard. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you, you clearly touched the arcade machine because the Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game, the arcade cabinet is covered in punches, the hair was found in the scene. Okay, now the arcade cabinet is covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Hmm. What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag, and none were available to me. 
Just as said in Eric Chupancha, I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. Uh, uh, how will you? I'm on it. John Travolta, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Okay. Is there a boss fight? Oh, no. Concentrate, concentrate. Uh, huh. Now, Tails, get away from the arcade cabinet. John Travolta, try again. I have to get the Super Monkey Ball fixed. Nice. The arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Uh, vector, Nook, Toast, Apple, Bread, Alton, Ultimate Life Form, is that sh Shadow? Bagel and Candy. Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector? It's supposed to be in the light. He's supposed to be in the library car. Uh, the, the picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. Ugh. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Grr. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. We're your proof. Where's your evidence? If Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now! Oh, okay. He's the only one in the car, though. That's too much! Help! Wait, did I do it? Yes! 38! Out of 35, let's go! Now, John Travolta, prove what proves Vector was here with Knuckles. Uh, that's lipstick. The map. Heh, <laughs> I knew it. You were both talking out of your bottom. Let's try it again, John Travolta. What if it didn't tell us proof Vector was here? But how could it. Oh. Oh, okay, so one is Knuckles, one is Vector, and the other ones. I'm gonna say it's Amy, because she was also here, but also it could also be Rouge, because I know Rouge and Knuckles always are uh, seen together, because, you know, Knuckles has the diamond, oh, the emerald, and Rouge wants the emerald, so. Well, let's see what they say. No! I thought it was strange. There was more than one cup sitting next to you. Well, you were supposed to be practicing in the part participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You went back there and enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's, I'm. It's not like, it's it's not. I wasn't. Ah, uh, don't don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It says you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour, wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure out the game out, and when we did, we competed for the high score. When he beat me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the, the, the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. Uh, that's my story, an alibi. I've already told any Anna Bridge version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that, that explains one of the used cups, but what what of the cup with the lipstick mark? Uh, I knew it! I knew it! Rouge was here too. Huh? It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm. 
I'm understanding the scenario. Vector decided to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thanks, thank you for answering so many of our que- Actually, that's not everything, is it Knuckles? Huh? Yeah. I went to step back to, to- I went to step back to something I noticed. One more name on the Ohio score list doesn't make sense. Josh Sepulta, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list? What is Tails talking about? It's the ultimate life form, right? It's Shadow. He also played the game. Oh! Ow! Oh, I have to drew. Okay, yeah, it's this one. Uh. How's the other name? Hella food thing, but this one. Who here goes by Alton? You may not know John Travolta, but there is someone here that goes by that title. The ultimate life form. It's Shadow. Yeah, I knew it. There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Factor and I was struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Factor and I thought, then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You will all admittedly have to compete, huh? You have- you gave- he gave me this before he left. Ooh, a key. Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right. The conductor gave her that special key. Well, well, I have a lot of questions. What happened to the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rue sh searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me, even though I asked with, with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when he conf when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is in the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic in an airfall for me. Detective Tails and Butler. I liked her better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, John Travolta. Let's head to the let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than micro eating chili dogs, for sure. John Travolta. C coming. Okay, so yeah, we don't have to look at all of these other things. Uh, yeah, that's all. That's that's it for now. So let's go. Ready to move on down to the next car? No way, ding nabbit. You got it, partner. Onwards. Yeah, because I already checked everything else before talking to Knuckles. No, oh, hang in there. Library car. Wait, is that an actual fireplace? In a train? Oh, and that's the conductor's picture up there above the fireplace. <laughs> All these stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulous help you've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both so sweet, thank you. Huh. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Uh Found any leads yet? Oh, the detective, pa the detective Paris needs some help from the birthday girl. Uh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick. But 
what are you gonna leave? How are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has the master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's the birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye. <laughs> oh, his voice. Please, God. <clears throat> Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I see. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh, just making sure things go well. Here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starved! I'd kill for chicken parmesan right now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry! A reason. A reason. A reason. I cannot. I don't know how to say that. Resonance message from poet to reader. Meant to challenge our de de delicate perspective with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Uh, sure, sure. Uh, teardrops in the spring, when you hear me sing, la la la, d d d d. Eh? What was that? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I I'm I'm uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. John Travolta and I are here to establish both of our alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy actually. Uh-huh. When we are all, we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and, Sh and Sonic all passed through this library car, where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. What, where was Rouge? What happened to what ha We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup on the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looked for something. When she went to search the saloon car, she came back shortly after. We heard her shout, no way, at the brochure, stand over here, there. But she left to the casino before the, before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library card and locked the door behind us. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He has set us on showing us up at a super monkey ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind us. Then he returned to the launch car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the small car. We were stuck in the library car. When the train sped up, we were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived, asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. With all these locked cars, well, locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll drop it up for ya. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough. But we should still look for clues. What we're, what we're looking for is an evidence, 
that proves what, what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely! So we have Espio, the globe, train, which is everywhere. Vector, which I'm not gonna do for now because my voice. We can go to the other car, which is... Oh, I always press the wrong one. The next card is the casino. Okay. Oh, this one. Chaos Cola. Check out our book club. Book of the month. Gone Gal. Uh, let's put this one. So yeah, we got some books on the floor. The, the brochures that Roche did look at them and said, "No way." Hang in there, poster. Uh, the trash. Oh, and the table. Oh, there's so many things to look at. What about over here? Oh, this bookcase. So let's see what made Roge. Ro Roge. Why did I say Roge? Roge. Look at the brochures. Oh, brochures. They, they are travel destination ideas here. Like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants, and oh. John Travolta, look at this. There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Library map is added to your inventory. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's stalactites. Nah, leave it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. But a bat would. A bat would do that. Mm. Hang in there. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. <laughs> wow, I really need to see this. Huh? This little chow's hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety. Because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If the chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into his poster, or this poster, right? Yeah, I don't think there was. Hmm, books on the floor. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. Barouge pulled out, pulled a lot of these out to search for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spies are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Yeah, that's true. Hey, train. Oh, poor thing. This arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Uh, why is this table selectable? Ah, let's take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy. So plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. John Travolta, no, don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time, I'll have one. Which isn't a lot. But it's weird that it happened once. A uh, globe. A globe of our pre marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. There's a lot of lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can be bad, can be beat. Yeah, the foods can be beat either. Ah, sounds per sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was always was talking about Spodonia. If you've ever been there, I have actually. If you're visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and make one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? And books. Wow, 
I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Hmm. Well, that means a little pick wouldn't hurt. Peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the books titles ex excitedly. He's like a, a kid in a candy shop. Or in this case, a genius in a drink library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but... Every book on the shelves is in alphabetical order. But this one... The Mirage Express Manual. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it, it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Mirage Express Manual is added to your inventory. So yeah, somebody was looking at the manual. Hmm. Maybe that's how they sped up the train, because they knew the buttons to press or something. Uh, maybe it was Sonic, because he was in the conductor's car, so... Sonic was probably caught, uh, caught... Was talking to the conductor while he was waiting for the game to start and stuff like that. Now... Was Sonic the one that was planned to be murdered all this time? And you know, the one, the one that was actually planned to be murdered, the, one, the character that was planned? Uh, Keeping character, right? I don't know, like... Maybe the murderer knows who to kill, but the people do not know who to die. You know? And he's not breathing my lord crying like, oh yeah, you're, gonna, you're the one that's gonna be dead. No, it's like, oh, you're the poet, you like to write poetry, and you like to read, and stuff like that, it's... And that's it, period. So the murderer's like, oh yeah, you need to kill this guy because, or this girl, because this and this and that, and now you have to find a way to kill them, without, like, like staying in character, but also without being found out. Uh, yeah, the trash. Something... So, something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say this, but there's nothing here. Ah, I already thought there'd be something here. Lots of Volta, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? N no, I'm, I'm, I'm alright. <laughs> I'm sure, um, I'm sure there will be something in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Well, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. John Travolta, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Uh, was that supposed to be a compliment? Oh. This is interesting. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck! This is Riggs of Evil Scientist, Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I, I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird that this is even here. Maybe people, people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. So what else is hitting, hidden? Uh, these one I looked at. Yeah, I looked at these. Okay. Yeah, it seems like that's the only one that was be able to, I, I could choose. Let's go to SPO because I do not want to destroy my voice yet. So, fancy a poem. Uh, can I get a poem about space? I've made it up to space with my beloved antique vase, but I mistaken in my, ha my haste, dropped the vase from the embrace, so my antique I must not replace. What caused you to drop the vase? Uh, don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? Uh, let's get the other poem. What will it be? Uh, a poem about trains. Locomotives in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The windows show the ocean. Oh wait, there's my lotion. Uh, thanks. Actually, I really like that one. Huh? Uh, yeah, can I take your order? I have a poem about this. I starved stomachs babbled, though I ignored the grumpling tummy, for the eggs I received are scrambled. 
when I asked for my egg sunny. Oh wow, um, we don't have any eggs on the train though. My talent is wasted on you a lot. Okay. Like Aspio, we only have microwave food. We want chili dogs, we want ramen, chicken cordon bleu. What would you like? It's only these three options. Which is weird, because a train so high class, so uh, fancy like this, you know, it's weird that it's only three food and it's all microwave, which is the non-fancy way of like food and stuff. So yay. Uh, fancy a poem? Uh, no, I need to start interrogation. Hmm, I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look a lot, uh, around a little bit more? Okay, never mind then. Very well. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be the butcher. I, I need to do the last of his voice. <clears throat> I may be the butcher, but the confidence to my, to my meat cleaver before. But they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? Oh, I did my voice. My, I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. I need to grab water. Wait. I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Authenticity. I'm not gonna say that. I'm a man. I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without without a knife, I'm just a chef in a kitchen stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we definitely think you were the murderer. <clears throat> But what if I hear the knife? Y you know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Okay, so let's talk. I need to take a sip of water every time I start, a convers start doing his voice. I may be a butcher, but this, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before they get in the train. I to try to, yeah, okay, I already read this. Yeah, okay. Can I take your order? Oh yes, please, I'm starved! Actually, I'm off of duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. Then why did you show the menu to me? Come on, John Travolta. Come on, John Travolta. Why would you tease him like that? And here I thought I could trust you. You've made a fool of me. Look, John Travolta, you've made a fool of him. You made him a fool. Come on, John Travolta, smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah. Yeah. I smooth things over, but at what cost? Can I find segregation? Okay, not enough evidence yet. Nothing like cold cuts for the cold case. Let me know if you need any good butchering. But I looked at everything. Yeah. Yeah, this is repeating. So many books on the ground, I wish we had time to pick them all up yet. Well, what else are, is there? No, I, already, I already checked the globe, I the trash. Uh, Yeah, I don't... Maybe we have to... But how do I go back? If I don't come and go forward... Shadow's supposed to really walk through the, the library car before going to the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked his door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. So do we make, so do we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Okay, Shadow's Lock is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Estio to find out what really happened. Oh, good, okay, so I had to check the door first. Fancy a poem? No, start interrogation. So, the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that. I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the valid. valid Validity of your alibis. John Travolta and I are here to confirm two things. 
why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles and if Aspio really was already the library card. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library card to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if you need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Hector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go and check it out. This seems to line up with the information we've gathered. We gathered with Knuckles. Should I go with the detective voice? Yeah, I think so. Then that brings us our attention to you, SPO. Rude, you entered the library card, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library card? Of course you was! Hmm? Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. Mm, it's hard, my brain doesn't click when I try to move between voices sometimes. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Uh... Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the men live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what the book might be. John Travolta, could you help me out? Huh? Alright, John Travolta, what book do you think Espio may have been reading? Uh, the manual? Yeah, cause that's the only book I have, so yeah, the manual. Mm. A manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Okay, so it's time to think. These are the ones that are I'm least excited about. What is that? Oh. You were both gasp graspy, I knew it. Wait, we've got this drunk Travolta, let's try again. I don't know if it, you know what this song kind of reminds me of? Like that one song, hey, go kitty, go. I don't know how it goes, but something like that. Oh god. Okay, I did it. I thought I, I, I thought I thought I was gonna do it. <laughs> Good thing we did it. There are books scattered around the floor, but the remaining books on the shelves were in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone at the very least picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. Uh Hey now, I won't have you assaulting my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Uh, apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. This, in this is indeed the book I was reading, the Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, We'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual, John Travolta, if you don't mind the manual. John Travolta, if you don't mind. Huh? Could you ask Aspio some questions about the manual? Just flip to, to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Aspio about the manual to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Uh, page 362. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During the events, they can perform a variety, a very variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up the trash and, ma and messes around, a mess afterward. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself, though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like... Seems like SPO's... SPO ace the question. Not Travolta, hit him with another one. Oh, okay, which person do I choose? Uh, 
89. What is the Mirage's Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged on a no show fee. This does not apply if you are over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made these rules must have been over 65. Last one, John Travolta. Let's see if SPO can get three for three. Gotcha. Which page should I pick last? Page... 16. What was implemented to support the conductor's duty in his general training obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to ensure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot. But it can't ac access its full suit of capabilities without the conductor's present. Now, did I pass your little test? Mm, yeah. Totally, it's wild you were able to retain all these information so quickly. The poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guessing. And you both have the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit it though. Reading the entire time a murder... Uh, uh, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to sub substantiate despite being the truth. Huh? Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can- SPO, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. And we have the evidence to back it up. John Travolta? Uh, he always puts me on the spot. Okay, John Travolta, think. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who, ha who also saw SPO reading. But what? What's that? Shadows Rock. Please pray tell. What this has to do with anything? We're up to John Travolta. Let's get the argument together. Okay, okay. Still not a fan of these minigames. Ow. So I have to get 50? Oh god, it's too much. Oh no, I have to concentrate because I have enough. Ooh, 61. Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are the natural gamers. Espio saw it. He saw a shadow into the library car, but he mentioned nothing about the shadow's return. He only mentioned that Vector came back. When Shadow left, Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. Oh. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon. So there's, ob there, there, there's obviously no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on the Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in my book and I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of the doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I, you see, I can sense Espio's desperation here, because any the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at the moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear John Travolta. One that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That's cool demeanor. Th that cool demeanor is vanishing. 
I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice. Shadow passed by, passed back through the library card. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library card? I I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was that feel simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not know the shadows return to library card? What should I do? Uh, defend Espio, join Tails. Mm. No, I'm doing Tails. No, I can't interrupt Tails while he's onto something. I'll let him continue his line of question and. Sumterota, my right word and beloved employee, please protect the prisoners and probably distract. They must be taken care of. If we fail, the losses will be torturous. Don't allow such an old feeble soul to get sued. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails. Hmm? We have a piece we have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadows and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Couldn't have seen one another. Oh, this one. Alright, now let's get my thoughts in order. Oh, please be easy, please be easy. Okay, it's okay so far. Nope. Okay. Guess I have to maintain now. Ooh, almost had, I almost have to see one again. The, the library map? Oh, I see. See, the exits, they're right across from one another, a straight path. If Shadow walked down the straight path, there's a way SPO and Shadow couldn't have seen each other. Looks like you'll, like you'll have to point it out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could SPO have been for Shadow not to see him? Uh, so, he goes from here to here. Anywhere here is probably seen... Here. Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second that. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. If that confirms it, then you see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense when you never met when you never mention Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you could have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most all art right, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. We did it! Another pair of alibis validated. Yeah, but Shadow and Roger are still suspects here. Is that blusting on Vector? Huh, okay. That's because he's the butcher, maybe. Wait, wait, pause. If he's the butcher and they're all animals, how, how does that work? What is he butchering? Oh god, too many questions. Too many questions with no answers. Alright, let's move on. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh? It seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. 
that's then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give him heck, and if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry shop for you both. A murder is on the loose, while doors keep getting locked. Tick tock, top goes the clock, while our heroes are in caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, John Travolta, let's see what's next. Coming. So, next up. You, you sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? And <laughs> Tails wants to read books. Mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. Now we're going to the casino. Casino cop. 